What is art therapy? Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a big question. It's the use of like art or creative expression to kind of help in the counseling process. Um, some people view the art process itself as therapeutic, and then some people use art in therapy. So kind of both approaches are considered valid. We're at Spark in Gilderland. SPARK stands for St. Peter's Addiction Recovery Center. It is an inpatient rehab uh, for those who are struggling with um, alcohol and substance abuse. Rehab is really a place to kind of like stabilize and kind of and, and get grounded because they're, they're so shaky from, from all the use and then we kind of connect them to the next place. You know, we're not here to to solve it, we're here to, as a stepping stone. You know, it's just kind of another way to express yourself and then and talk about it and reflect and, and learn about your addiction, learn about yourself. Um, a lot of people with addiction are masking their feelings because that's what they're using the addiction for and so it's just kind of a way to, to safely kind of explore that and, and figure, figure yourself out. So here, um, I, run, I run four different groups uh, because the patients stay for about 28 days and then I, I reset for the new, new people. But I focus on kind of reflection. I, I, I do some groups on like masks um, and we talk about like what we, what we look like on the outside and what we portray to the world versus how we feel like we are on the inside and kind of re visually representing that, which gives them sort of a concrete thing to discuss in a, in a counseling group here. So that's kind of, it's kind of cool. So my role here is a recreational therapist. I run um, a creative expressions group which touches upon um, art therapy. Um, it is a group where I incorporate art, music, um, and writing. And it allows patients to express themselves in um, a creative way other than just verbally communicating. So one of the directives that I did um, was a bridge drawing kind of assesses where they're coming from, where, where they're coming from their past, where they see themselves heading in the future. Um, and then I ask them to place themselves in the image. So this piece um, that this patient shared with me, uh, where he's coming from on the left um, feels like hell. Um, he's coming from a really bad place and his bridge is um, the cross. Um, and he's crossing over into kind of like um, a paradise and happy land um, and he sees himself uh, right in the middle um, crossing over to that other side. Um, so this piece tells me that um, he can, he's able to identify his past, maybe the people in his past were very negative um, and he's trying to get away from that. Um, and he's trying to build a healthier, brighter future. I mean, all of them kind of have touched me. You know, they're, they're here for so short, and yet they're here in one of their most vulnerable states. You know, it's, it's, I've had people call me afterwards, tell me that they're okay. I've had people call me and tell them that they took a drink, you know, and it's hard. Um, so inspired by how human they are, you know, everybody, everybody needs a chance and I just want to be there for them. The other recreation therapist, Sean Hughes, um, he entered a piece into a local art show. When I won, which was really, which was kind of cool. But it was kind of representing the different like occupations, feelings and roles that individuals in recovery and addiction have and kind of kind of breaking down those barriers because we always have this like uh, stereotype of what it means to be an addict and like it's really it affects it can affect anybody. Mm -hmm.